What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back into the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Wacky Creepers mod, and what this mod does is it adds 8 different Wacky Creepers to Minecraft. Each of these Creepers has their own special abilities, and most of them are actually not lethal. So let me go ahead and hop my Minecraft here, and I will show you exactly what all of these Creepers do. So the message you're seeing at the bottom left corner of my screen, that is just from single player commands, letting me know what the spawn rate of each of the different creepers are. So I'll go ahead and go through here. Uh, you can see I have all the creepers um, caged up here. And I don't, I have them caged up, um, I'll release them uh, one, one by one to show you their different effects. So first off we have the nature creeper, the magic creeper, you can see this one kind of bobs up and down and floats around. And then we have the poison creeper, the fish creeper, the rocket creeper, the party creeper, the flash creeper, and then last but not least, the ninja creeper. Now this creeper does look like a normal creeper as of right now. Actually, it looks like a nature creeper because you can see the smile on its face. Um, and that is the part, part of the thing of why it's a ninja creeper. It disguises itself as other creepers. So let's go ahead and release the nature creeper and just let him explode and when he explodes he drops down um, different plant things uh, sometimes it'll be tall grass and you can also see he gave me regeneration so he gave me a little bit of um, help there and he'll give you different potions and stuff like that but he'll drop um, so you, you can see he drops some tall grass some saplings so he pretty much just releases nature next I will show you the magic creeper And he happened to poison me. He does a bunch of different types of um, potions on you when he explodes. So that's his special ability. Hopefully I do not die. Okay, I think I'm fine. Yeah. Um, again, we have another poison creeper. Um, so let's go ahead and see what he does to me. Again, I'm poisoned. And now we have the fish creeper. And this one's pretty interesting because... Aw, oh, I made the other one go off. What this one does is it releases water whenever it explodes on land. So if it were to explode over here, there would be a big water puddle here. And I'll go ahead and spawn another rocket creeper since that one happened to go off. So I'll do spawn and what is the... I'll just do rocket. Spelled that wrong. Rocket Creeper. Why is it not spawning that? Spawn Rocket Creeper. Okay, I am having technical difficulties with that, so I'll come back to that one later. And then we have the Party Creeper. And what this guy does is he explodes and a whole bunch of confetti goes around and he leaves you a cake to eat. Now we have the Flash Creeper. And this guy doesn't, he doesn't explode, but what he does is he lets off a big smoke cloud, and he's really hard to kill because you really just can't see him. There we go. And I can also see that the ninja creeper decided to launch his attack while I was being attacked by him. So I'll go ahead and pause the video here and I will bring back the Ninja Creeper and the Rocket Creeper. Alright, so I have respawned the Rocket Creeper and the Ninja Creeper. So I'll go ahead and show you what the Rocket Creeper does now. And you can see as soon as you hit him, he flies into the air and explodes like a rocket would. Now we have the Ninja Creeper. and I'm going to go ahead and see if I can let this guy come out of here or what he's going to do. What is he doing? Is he stuck? Oh, yep. So you can see as soon as you attack them, they fly into the air and then they have a ninja suit on and then they explode on you. Um, so that is really the only one that does a lot of damage when it explodes is the ninja creeper. So that is the wacky creeper mod. Alright, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download 
mod loader and the wacky creepers mod itself so to get mod loader and the wacky creepers mod i'll go ahead and give you a link to these two pages in the description so first off for the wacky creepers if we go and scroll down we have the latest update information about the mod here and all these stuff you'll need to know and then all the information on each uh, wacky creeper individually as well as screenshots for the creepers but if we go ahead and keep on, keep on scrolling down past all of this to the download section which is right here you want to go ahead and just click on the download link and this will bring us over to an ad fly it'll say please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner after that five seconds is up a yellow button saying skip ad will appear go ahead and click on skip ad and this will bring us over to a media fire and go ahead and just click on download to download the mod now for mod letter, if we go ahead and come over to Rezagami's mods, scroll down until you see mod letter 1.2.5. You can either download from AdFly or direct. Whatever you prefer to do, keep in mind downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download everything that you'll need to install this mod. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Open your dot minecraft. Open your bin left click your minecraft jar then right click it do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using I'm using WinR so I'm go gonna go ahead and open it with WinR now you do not need your bin open anymore so you go ahead and just close that so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up mod loader highlight all these class files and drag them into your minecraft jar hit ok go ahead and close mod loader now open up wacky creepers open up files and highlight all these files and drag them into your Minecraft jar as well and hit OK now go ahead and close the wacky, wacky creepers mod now in your Minecraft jar there should be a folder called metainf if you do not have this folder that is ok you can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do have it what you want to do is delete it so go ahead and left click it then right click it select delete files and then hit yes and that will delete metainf you want to make sure you're always deleting metainf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft if you don't it'll make Minecraft crash so after you delete metainf you go ahead and close your Minecraft jar, and that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.